just like I think in detail um, just feeling lost like right now like feeling lost it can like be very big but like I'm literally like just out of college fucking don't really even have a place to stay like I'm floating like that's how I feel so to do something space oriented to be just sucked into a planet where I have to figure it the fuck out with the people that I have around me with with what's going on in life and that's kind of what I wanted to encompass in like the whole thing so um, Right now, especially, I'm not, I think, I'm not grounded, that's the thing. At least my mind isn't, so to at least express that would be fulfilling for me. Just like, And then to achieve that, you know, in, in the story of my album, like, at the end, I achieved that just satisfaction and that I found it, either it's okay to be lost for a sec or I have found you know my place so yeah I still haven't figured it out yet but I'm sure I will yeah, with this process so. support their vision in general and yeah that's kind of like how I became close with Nick and he gave me the opportunity to go on a tour and shit and so that's why he's kind of like heading you know heading this project to visually and moth in general so but yeah Nick's Nick's a fucking G like yeah yeah he can do everything too he can fucking do everything but, um, but yeah. Let's see. Yeah. Um. Let us know when you guys are done with that one. Um, so me and Alex met in theater where in eighth grade. Um, I think the show Cinderella is like actually the one where we started getting really close. Oh, and then, yeah, then we just kept making music videos. He moved to Japan for four years in high school. We kept in contact with the music videos. He came back and lived with me for like six months. We did another show together, and then I went to college, he went to college, and now we're here. <laughs> so, yeah, that's the whole backstory. I'm, me and my dad, and I have uh, been kind of taking over like construction and making sure all the big pieces are in place. Um, in terms of that, the project in general, uh, maybe Alex's advisor. Uh, <laughs> I have my fingers in like different pieces. So I have some music, um, some here. Uh, like at first when it was all in my head, I was like, nah, this ain't, this ain't possible. This isn't gonna work. But... Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna get it together.
the best thing. Well, basically what we did today was we were able to cut out the whole foreground and everything that's going to be in the front layer. We were planning on getting some painting done, but but that's about all we were able to get done today. But then painting's all next time, and I think Saturday, Sunday, a full two days. And all that. What's up, bro? Welcome. Still working. Those are the reference pictures. Um, for, Cause that's on the Muppet Show, like what Koo's been looks like. And so we're using that and recreating it here. So yeah, it's starting to come together. I started today at 10 30, 11. So we got a good full day in. And yeah, I mean, we put in. How many times have we come out here? No, like total, like three times? Is that the third time? Yeah, so we, first time we like sourced the wood, put it all up and made the backdrop. Second time we started actually cutting the foreground and then now we're actually painting. So we're going pretty quick. I'm surprised. I'm surprised that we can actually get this done. Um, yay! <laughs> Very delicate process. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, see, there's your paint porn. Yeah, it's really good. Ooh, it's picking up the texture. Okay, <laughs> If I don't, she'll be pissed I don't know by now that what she wants is what she gets Except this Look at what you uh, Look at what you short story before you did a concept album that you'd have too much to say rather than not having anything to say and so I found that like I was having too much to say so I didn't want to like say anything explicitly like hey I'm on Coos Bay and the Planet and then we're having a good time I mean the theme song like indicates that because that's like the theme song of the show um, but I wanted it to kind of be you know me writing it on the short story and them kind of being snippets of the story rather than explaining it explicitly so and I don't necessarily want people to get exactly what I'm saying in like these songs like in terms of the story I want them to listen to them and be able to relate to them so like you can't really relate to a guy that like goes to another planet of <laughs> so, but you can relate to somebody who's struggling like with common problems like feeling lost and trying to find love and things that everyone goes through. So, capturing that was like the most important thing. So yeah, I can get Adam in here so we can do the paint. I didn't know, I think the cost of everything was just like, yeah, paint is a lot, um, plywood is a lot. Um, and another thing was just like, it's it's time consuming, but I luckily have them too, like Stella's an artist and Adam's been like working with his hands for years, so he's able to like, cut out the pieces and do all that stuff, but it just takes a while. Like we planned on having like three full days to, 
to like do all this stuff. So yeah, I might not get done tomorrow, but that's like another thing is that we keep projecting it to be, you know, like, oh, we'll get it done in this amount of time. But it's a lot more than that. So I think, yeah, that's the main thing, yeah. Oh, everything out that we need to do today. <laughs> but I have the Got up early this morning and we've just been setting it up. Uh, we worked on it for probably seven weekends in a row. You think, Alex? Yeah. And some of those weekends we did multiple days. Probably... 80 hours? Oh my god. <laughs> Is that an over-exaggeration? <laughs> it feels like 80 hours, 100 hours. <laughs> it's like blue, green, and like pink. And then Stella saved the day. I don't know. <laughs> I was just told to make it. You said make a mouth, so I made a mouth. Apparently it's supposed to like wrap around somebody's head like a mask. Apparently this this part is supposed to go like this. This. Essentially. <laughs> Keep my outfit inside though. What? Like bunched up. I thought my little sister had a little sweater that I was going to steal for the party, but it was a crop top, so it's not going to work out. I can only afford to eat one, but... My name is Nick, also known as Theo. Yeah, so I met Coob through Julia, which is Julia has been a friend of mine since I uh, first moved to California. And I met Koo through her, and I knew him just through like random things that I would see him at, like parties or whatever. And um, then I heard his music, and around that time I heard his music was the time that I wanted to start the collective and the record label for Moth, and I wanted and he was just someone I was really interested in, like, getting involved just because he was so, um, different. Uh, so, I mean, we met, we met up and we, like, talked about everything and he was, like, super down. And ever since then, we've just been working, like, nonstop on shit and helping everybody with everything and just kind of just full-blown collaboration between everyone that's involved now. We're all super close. It's zero percent rain. What? It's zero percent rain. There are drips oh, on that sky. If it stays like this, okay. If there are drips on that sky, I'm gonna fucking Wait, it stopped. Hey! Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. We got two dogs humping over there. Um, basically, we're just waiting it out. About 10 minutes till shooting. Yeah, really nervous. Just a lot of things to like get done in this amount of time, this one night. So, we'll figure it out. Got it. Hey, Coos Bay. Yes, sir. We in. Um, I'm going to Safety 
for them same and one thing that made it easier with everything was that all of these foreground pieces we were able to kind of move and they're like portable so we've been moving like the craters just to change the scene and everything seeing everything like that was in my mind like about five six months ago like being able to physically see it is like insane to me like it gives me chills like i just just imagining like this exact thing was like in my head like months ago and now it's like here you can touch it you can like see it it's like cool so like so excited <laughs> so happy it all worked out yeah <laughs> It's better being over. I think, I think come on this side. I think it's going to work. Okay. Oh, yeah. On the other side. Oh, yeah. Right. And then just go over here. Okay. Extend that bad boy. What? How are you here? I got sucked. Well, I didn't think getting sucked into a TV and landing on a mysterious planet exists. No, so let's at least try it. Lime green. Can't make it. Please. Thinking of you, I'm lime green. I made a wish, can't tell you now. If it comes true, I won't get to see. Nah, if that's all there is. Stuck in a beast, I'm lime green. Never blue or red. Like I said, lime green. You're just smoking the blunt into the yeah. <laughs> yeah, so it went pretty well on Cruise Bang. Got the whole gang here. But um I think pretty much went pretty well. Went to my liking. Um the best part was I think uh just everyone that's involved, they're like all supportive. Everyone's clapping after each scene. Like, it, the energy is definitely there. I think something that I didn't expect was, yeah, the whole thing to be time consuming, but that's a constant issue. So, um, yeah, I think that overall, very well, but I'm trying to get some sleep now, so. 
copy. I'll do them to my full trolley. And Lauren Schreiber, the director of the mission management team, has been pulling his group in order to give Harrington a go along with the rest of the launch team. Copy. Engineering director. O2 engineering go. Copy. SNMA director. SNMA is ready to go. I copy. Range weather. Launch director, we have no constraints to launch. Copy that. And ops manager. Uh, Tim, the MMT is working, no issues, you're clear to launch. I copy. And Discovery, uh, looks like a great day to go fly, so uh, have a good mission and we'll see you back in a few days. Yeah, we'll be back a week from uh, tomorrow and you've done your work now, put us to work. And NTD launch director, you have a clear to launch. I copy, thank you. Thank you. Our personnel, countdown clock will begin momentarily. 